here we have the basic idea of how gas chromatography works here is the gas supply filter dryer pressure control gauge flow meter oven where the sample is injected and it is a sampling unit and it is a detector along with a recorder so when a sample is injected let's take this portion over here when a sample is injected initially the sample is vaporized to gas which consists of a mixture of solvents so along with the mixture of solvents inert gas is made to pass through another another slit so inert gas is taken because of the reason that it does not react with any of the solvents so along with the inert gas the solvent is made to push through the pipes into the detector so what the detector detects the samples and it is given as a uh, chromatograph so at what happens actually in the these long tubes so the basic idea is how the longer the tubes the better the separation so what actually happens inside so let's let us consider this portion any any part of the portion of the pipe so here is the first what happens so according to the boiling point of the mixture of solvents because it is a mixture of two solvents and each solvent has a different boiling point here is the sample a let us consider it as a sample a and let us consider these dots as sample b sample a is having a lower boiling point so because of this due to the uh, low boiling point these move much faster in the second region and due to the high boiling point it takes much farther for it to move towards the end of the pipe so this is what happens and it takes place in a very short time due to their high and low differences in their boiling points so let us consider the graph over here so first initially what we get in the detector in the i mean whatever we take the recorder first is the solvent sample which is a mixture so it cannot be considered so when a graph of intensity and time is plotted here we have here we have sample a and here we have sample b so sample a is these small dots which have emerged first out of the pipe so so it is detected easily and sample b sample b is these large molecules which are detected afterwards according to the intensity and the boiling points these molecules are detected 